Happy 2022 and welcome back. Happy 2023 and welcome back to the Fable Sphere. I hope you guys have had a fantastic Hazza. 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 Happy 2023. I hope you guys had a fantastic new year and I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. I hope you had a great time with your families. I hope you guys were safe. I hope you guys were healthy. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I hope 2023 will be an absolutely phenomenal, prosperous year for you and every single person around you. Dimash! Dimash, Dimash, Dimash! The Soon Soon has dropped a new performance. It's called uh, El Amor en Ti. I think, I think it translates to uh, the love in you as opposed to like the uh, I love you or whatever else. I think it translates to that. This is completely brand new. Back to the new year. Back to Dimash. Let's rock and roll. Let's go. Look at this man looking like Monte Cristo again. The Count of Monte Cristo. Dimash does opera, man. Actually, when Dimash does anything, it actually doesn't actually matter. I think I would probably get emotional if Dimash had to like fry an egg. I think if he literally just had to fry an egg, I'd be like, oh my god, this guy though, this guy, look how he's handling that egg, man. You know what I mean? This dude with anything, opera, doesn't matter what this dude touches, man. I think I'm just so in awe. I'm actually fangirling, fanboying, fan whatevering. It's just I'm, I'm too much of a fan. That that is actually that is actually the problem. <laughs> It looks like it's green screened for some reason. Depth in his voice, just how deep he goes, man. I think he goes deeper than like the Marianas Trench. I think it's called the Mariana Trench. I think it's the lot like it's the deepest like trench in the ocean. I think he can he actually goes deeper than that. Uh, he goes deeper than that in his lyrics. He goes deeper than that in his vocals. <laughs> Step, this is uh, like a hologram or something. Hey! Hey, what's better than one to mash? Two to mash. <laughs> <laughs> come on man i like that he's come out in the the whites in the back i actually think i get the concept over here when it comes to like the love in you in terms of i think he's playing it's going down the alley of like the good the bad the ugly but i think he's playing it into like the darkness of love the purity of love represented by the white the darkness of love represented by the black the dark times the um light times i'm not entirely sure there's space on the stage for a third maybe we get three dimashes too um, but I think that's that's the concept. I think he's sitting in Italian. It's absolutely incredible. Looks 
amazing in both his attire and his voice. Well, his voice is his voice. You know how that goes. Check out how Dimash is scrutinizing himself. He's like, hey, I'd like to see how this Dimash does. <laughs> Check, he's standing like this. Standing like this, looking at himself, saying, I hope this prick doesn't <laughs> Excuse my language. Anyway, let's go, man. <laughs> down oh my look at this oh my god it's like flamingos the mash turns there the mash turns there with your cell phones come on put your cell phones down you're not gonna look at that footage the man standing in front of you actually maybe he's not standing in front of you he's actually is actually um, holographic, it looks like, essentially. But take in the moment, man. Leave your six inch screens. <laughs> found someone that can sing as well as Dimash. There he is. A second Dimash. <laughs> That's the only one that can sing. It can sing. I'm not even going to say he sings better than Dimash. Okay, okay, I'll say it this time. This guy sings better than Dimash. The guy in the white sings better than Dimash. Okay, we finally found someone that can beat Dimash. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Okay, I think this, I think we found a third person that can beat, I think we found, okay, so we've officially found two people that are as good as Dimash. This guy in the red and this guy in the white. But as you can see, the concept over here, without even knowing what they're talking about, right, you can see there's a love story, you can see a lot of emotion, a lot of depth to the song. You can see it is the good, the bad, and the passionate, so the, the love being the, the passionate, vibrant, um, um, very sort of like fiery side of love right and that's where he comes in even with those vocals and whoa so more the more the more beautiful the more dancey the more sort of like wavy beautiful dreamy part of love is the mash in the red um the mash in the black which was when he came in with the very dark deep vocals as if he's almost like in a dark space in like a trench where everything's echoing and then the the guy in the white which is the beautiful side of love the poetic side the explaining of the story i'm not entirely sure in terms of what the lyrics are but i can kind of just get the gist of it right i'm i'm, I'm, sh I'm sure you understand what i'm saying anyway that was that but what's better than two dimashes three dimashes we got three dimashes in one video that is quite possibly the best thing you can get let's go <laughs> Oh, hey. Hey. 
ashes. <laughs> we got four of them. This car is even better than the other three. <laughs> hey, there he's in the flesh. There's the man in the flesh. Nice. He does love that Michael Jackson move. I know I'm pausing, guys. Just relax. He does love that. You know, he loves that Michael Jackson move. It suits him now. And the synchronization between all four of them is incredible that's really really well done that's very creative very creative to bring three holographic damashes um in and each doing sort of different elements and then layering that all up and then he comes out and then he adds a fourth layer to that uh, and it ties it all in together the synchronization of that is actually quite a complex thing uh, it's quite easy to go off beat there it's quite easy to sort of mistime that but he's a professional man. He doesn't do those sort of things. This is awesome, man. Just gives you goosebumps, man. <laughs> Michael Jackson influence right there. Woo! Woo! Oh, come on, man. He loves Michael Jackson too much. Oh, that reverb. Going back to a bit of the darker side. Oh, do you see what I'm talking about over here? You've got to pay attention to that because listen to. The dimash in the do in the in the black, which is darker, is so much more deeper, so much more dark. In his his vocal even sounds a bit darker. The dimash in the white has got a bit more vibrance to it, but this still tells a story of um I wouldn't say pain because the dark the, the black dimash represents more of that pain, but it's a, a story of um sort of like a triumph of sorts right in love and then on all of that together with Dimash in the red bringing in that flariness so it's bringing in that delicate element which is the passion which is the fire that underlies it so the fact that he's actually tying the story with three layers through three different characters and then added like the pop side where it's him in the flesh added the pop side to that so the the, the whole opera aspect of this and the, the pop aspect of this, the way he's done it, absolutely sensational. Sensational. Man. Like I said, man, this this dude, this was impressive, man. I think this was part of like a whole concert. I'm not entirely sure if they'll allow me to react to the entire concert. But that was, oh look, this video is long enough, man. That was absolutely epic. Epic, epic, epic. I love the creativity and I love the concept behind it. It was absolutely incredible. You guys let me know what you think down below. Hope you have a super awesome year. I will catch you. I will see you again soon. I love you all. Peace, be so, be so healthy. Peace.